School football is right around the corner as well, and that means changes for the John Glenn Falcons. Falcons will join the NIC this year, but they have something that their fellow Northern State transplants may not have as much of, and that's experience. People come out because their kids are involved in it. It's not just their own individual kids, it's the community's kids. As the Falcon faithful make their way to Glenn High School to cheer on their kids this fall, they'll notice a change in the opposition. The Falcons have joined the NIC. This is a great challenge and a great opportunity, and you got to be able to embrace anything that's new, that's different, realize there's going to be some bumps in the road, and embrace the challenge. You could play South Bend Adams on a Tuesday night who loves to get up and down the floor and, and run all over the place, and then you might have to turn around and play Penn on a Friday. Just the adaptation of every single night having to be on your game, because there are no, there are no gimmies um, in the NIC. While processing their new life in this new league will surely have its fair share of challenges, the Glenn Falcons can take solace in the fact that they've had several Northern Indiana Conference on their regular season schedule in years past. But this time, there's a big difference. There's a lot more on the line. Washington um, and Elkhart Central are the only two teams that we really haven't played a whole lot here the last eight years. So uh, I think we're ready for the switch. I think we're excited for it. If you've been there before, you know how to act. You know where to be, and you know what's going on. And I think that can be very helpful. Uh, we're familiar with a lot of these schools. A lot of them, we, we play in a lot of sports. You know, Washington and Riley's going to be new. I, I hope we, uh, you know, make this quality conference that it already was, and then we add to that. For those future NIC foes that have yet to visit the Falcons' nest, they can be sure to expect one thing. Noise. It's going to be loud. <laughs> Sometimes these smaller gyms bring a little bit more excitement. Um, it gets a little bit louder. Our student body gets into it. Those are things you're going to see when you come to John Glenn High School is the, is the passion for sports within the community, uh, the dedication, and the, and the support for our kids and our school. It's the chance to cultivate a winning tradition in the state tournament that has the Falcons most excited about joining the NIC. It's the best thing for us competing in the sectional. If we want postseason success, uh, this is the best move for us. Since we've been 3A, we've only won two sectional games. There's only, there's only one thing to do, and that's change the way we schedule. Unfortunately, we got in, in a conference that's, that did that for us, so uh, it, it's going to make us better. We've been in, in sectional championships, and, and I believe that as, as long as you keep knocking on the door sooner or later, the door is going to come down. So an interesting challenge for them. We have one more to go. We'll head to New Prairie next week, and you can catch that on, uh, on WSBT 22 News at 6. And all those sports almost here. Getting almost close. Almost here. Yep. All right, we'll be right back.